stretchy film for packing. It's going to be something, well, a little different. <laughs> I promise it has wood in it though. We've got some odds and ends around the shop and trying to put them to use today. What I want to do is I want to make sure that they're similar thickness. Knowing me, I'm probably going to put them on a lathe at some point because I've got a sickness for that. I picked this piece of acacia wood up for $10. It's warped very badly. Uh, it's got several cracks running through it. It's really not suitable for side table, which is what I was going to use it for. You know, instead of just having it sit, talking about when I'm going to use it, I'm just going to use it. Total length here is around 20 inches. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that'll get me around a five and a half to a six inch drum. Table saw blade is set for 13.8 degrees, which is as close as I can get it. It's supposed to be 8.4, but we're going to see what happens. All right, so I've got these, uh, I can't think of what they're called, some sort of screw clamp, screws, strap clamps. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Ow. How are we going to do this, Peter? I don't know. There we go. Each one of these staves is an inch and a half across here and an inch and a quarter thick by 12 inches long. And that is the closest thing you're ever going to get to plans on this channel. Drum roll, please. Oh, okay. Let's just wait for the glue to dry. You ever heard that phrase, when your only tool's a hammer, every job looks like a nail? Well, I suppose that kind of works with lathe as well. And I'm not even sure this is such a great idea. The worry is, I've got my jaws expanded all the way, and they're not really holding me. And I'll be honest, that's a little scary. But what I need to do here is I need to taper this because I want to give it sort of that classic bongo style. I would really like to finish this on the lathe, but um, I just don't think I have the means. going to be to match the one near the top. Dude, what is that? What are you doing? I'm um, drilling a couple of holes for the copper to go in. It's never going to work. a bongo player <laughs> but I do like it it's fun it's got a nice low tone to it I think that has something to do with the material maybe if I stretch it a little tighter I can get a higher tone out of it 
Thank you very much for watching, and if you liked the video, please share it. That helped me out a lot. Catch you later.